everyone! Every day I'm following new teachers on Instagram and YouTube and gaining new ideas for my classroom and instruction. Before I went on vacation, I found this company called Lit Joy Crate. I know somebody on Instagram or YouTube recommended it, so I decided to look it up online and to give it a try. It is a picture book subscription service that every month you order, you receive a picture book with a theme and objects that follow that theme. So when I got home from vacation, my Lit Joy crate was here waiting for me and I was so excited to open it, I couldn't wait. I decided to order three months and I think that was around $87. They do have a one month, three month, or six month subscription. Because I wanted to be able to figure out if I'd like the subscription or not, I decided to go with the three months. I kind of thought that after one month I'd either be too excited to order the next one and I didn't want to be disappointed in the only one that I got. So it came in a box about 12 by 12 with a beautiful blue color and I love this pretty font with their title Lit Joy Crate. I opened it up and it had some paper, um, what are these? I want to say confetti but it's not confetti, like crumpled paper in here which made it really really nice. So the first thing you see are the item descriptions on a card and usually most subscription boxes already have this and it describes the items that come in your box. So it looks like this is a superhero theme and it comes with Super Manny Stands Up which I'm assuming is a poster that looks like this so I'll be seeing that. A superhero slap bracelet, those are always fun, bringing back the 90s or is it the 80s? I don't know when they were popular. A superhero kit a cape and a mask, and a parent gift Wonder Woman themed jelly bellies. And I just learned that the book is called Super Manny Stands Up, and that's why I was confused. I thought it was a poster, but it's actually the name of the book. So here are the Wonder Woman jelly bellies. And I don't typically like jelly bellies, but my father does, so these aren't going to go bad. I'm just going to re gift them to my dad. It also came with two other cards for advertisement. This one is suggesting that I get a percentage off for buying a mermaid tail and this one is to place this J in a picture somewhere and I guess hashtag it. Um, so I don't know if I'll be using these. I could always pass them along and somebody else can enjoy their gift. I'm guessing I'm going through the superhero kit first because I do have this bag that says wham on it. So very cute gift bag, great for back to school. You could even add these items into a treasure box of yours. Super cute, love the theme of the superheroes. Here are some stickers, these are fun. They say poof, blam, boom, kaboom, thud, kapow, crash, and it has A, B, C, and one, two, three. And it looks like you're supposed to take these pictures off and make a story or a theme in this picture. So you take the sticker off and then you add them to this picture to create your own storyline. That's pretty cool. A really great center activity, but again, I see myself putting this in uh, my treasure box. And I'm really sorry the lighting is going in and out. It looks like I'm turning yellow and then I'm getting light. And I think it's because the clouds are passing over through the sun. See, now I'm white and before I was yellow. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. All right, so here's the mask, very cute, love the royal blue color, and then I'm guessing this might be the cape to go with it, so it came in a separate plastic bag, and I can see myself using this for our Erlo reading program. We used to have, or I guess the younger grades, now that, now that I'm in primary, have capes, um, but I, the older grades, we didn't have capes for our Erlo reading program, but I can see myself using this in my classroom for like um, high readers or like student of the week, but it looks like it's royal blue on the outside and this bright gold color on the inside, and it is a Velcro um, thing to put it together. I don't, what do you say to that? I don't know, very cute. It looks like it'll fit most child size necks. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, and a really good length for a child in the primary grade levels. So I forgot to mention that Lit Joy Crate offers several different options of books that you can choose from. I chose the younger age group, I think it's the youngest group box that you can buy, but they also have a young adult section, 
Um, and I think if that's if it's not young adult, it's ages 10 and up. The reason why I didn't choose that subscription service is because I didn't want to receive a chapter book that was too high to read to my second graders. I knew that if I went with the younger style box that I would be able to get a picture book that my students would be able to read and understand on their own. So more stickers, and these have a different saying than the superhero sayings. These are, I am fearless, I am strong, I am brave, I am powerful, I am invincible. I love these. Love, love, love. Love those sayings too. I could really incorporate this into our morning meeting, have it be like a motto of ours in our classroom. I think I'm still diving into the superhero kit because I did receive this pencil with a cape attached to it and I think this is supposed to be up by the eraser this might even be an eraser of itself super cute I'm sure you can find these on like oriental trading or any other teacher supply store that has the little trinkets at the counter these are super cute love the cape attached to the pencil this is a bookmark it says you don't have to be super to be mighty love that and then here is the snap bracelet. It is a Batman theme. Love this. This would be great for a treasure box item or um, some reward system. Love that it has Batman logos on the bracelet. This box did come with a poster. I misunderstood again. Blonde moment. And it does have those same sayings as the sticker. I am fearless. I am strong. I am brave. I am powerful. I am invincible. And I'm guessing this is super manny. So this is the poster that came with it. And it looks like you can use stickers or tallies to keep track of when you are being super or inspiring others. This is the card it came with. And it also has a note from the author. I love that about this box. So whatever story is picked to be put in the box, it does come with an author's letter, so I'll read this one to you guys. Dear Super Reader, I'm so happy you've discovered my new book, Super Manny Stands Up. Huh? So that's the name of the book. Manny is a character who is near and dear to my heart. As a child, I had a very active imagination and spent a great deal of time outdoors creating my own adventures. I'll never forget the bully who lived in my neighborhood. Her name was Wendy, and she was tough. I was a shy, quiet kid, much like Manny, and Wendy was loud and bossy and scary. But one day she wandered into one of my backyard adventures, and she didn't act mean or bossy. Looking back, I realize Wendy probably didn't have such an easy home life. I've come to learn that deep down, most bullies are fearful and sad, and they push people around to make themselves feel powerful and cool. But I don't think being mean is ever cool. In fact, I think the greatest superpower anyone can have is kindness. If there's any... If there's ever an opportunity for you to stand up for someone who needs a friend, I hope you'll remember your own invisible cape and be a hero to someone in need. Happy reading. That was an amazing letter. I love it. And I love the little cartoons and like her at age seven. Very sweet. And I love the theme of kindness and being your own hero and standing up to bullies. I do think that's a common theme that's being addressed in schools nowadays. So this book must follow that theme. So this is the picture book. It is Super Manny Stands Up, and I won't read it to you because I hope you'll give Lit Crate Joy a try on your own. I'm not too sure you'll get this book if you order um, now. I don't really know how that works. I'm I've already read it, and I'm really excited to share it with my student. It is about standing up to bully. It does have a really great theme, and I thought the vocabulary was very rich. If you want to read this to yourself first and make a list of those vocabulary words, you can have a much richer discussion with your students afterwards about what they mean and how you can create a motto from this book. I do think of that I'm going to use the fearless, invincible, powerful, whatever those, whatever those words were. I think I'm going to use that in my classroom this year as a motto. So I definitely look forward to putting that poster up into my classroom, probably somewhere in the front of the room. If you're interested in getting your own Lit Joy Crate, just go to litjoycrate.com and pick your subscription service. I'm really happy with my first box and I can't wait to get the next two. I do plan on opening the next two boxes with my students, and I can also do a video on them as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any future videos of me, subscribe to my channel, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye!